Hello there, everybody. Welcome back to another Lost Ark video. It's Friday, and you know what comes around every Friday. Long pause for dramatic effect. It's Arconomics. Come on, man. You already know. Come on, man. Uh, this week? I mean, shit. I don't know, dude. We're gonna wing it. We're gonna wing it more than we usually do. Blue crystals are back up on the up and up. Up on the up, 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 up. I mean, I bought mine for 3600 3500 well, I tried to buy it for 3500 Had to cancel it, clearly. Uh, price is going back up a little bit. What does that mean? What does that mean for the state of Arcasia? I mean, shit, dude. I don't fucking know. Who knows? Um, economy is in a really weird spot right now, obviously. A lot of it's due to, I mean, Tier 4 coming out in, like, checks notes like a month and a half or something i mean it's probably gonna be like the middle of september right ish so yeah we got like a month and a little bit um but i mean let's just take a look at the market i suppose i like seeing the fragments elixir fragments they're like the exact same price now it's just the only reason you'd ever do purples is if you're never pushing the alt past 1610 or 1600 i guess more accurately i just assumed that the the alt would be at 1610 for theamwen uh but you get purple elixirs at 1600 realistically man they just gotta remove purple elixirs honestly should never have really been in the game in my opinion but hey gotta make the difference rewards between normal and hard <laughs> you know how I feel about that. Leapstones have kind of went down the shitter. I mean, as we've kind of known, they've continued to go down the shitter. Fusion mats. I mean, they're old reliable at this point, man. Basically, in my opinion, the thing that you should be doing to prepare for tier four, and most people are doing, is on characters that you give a shit about. So like your main... You should be working on trying to advance tone as much as possible because getting rid of your bound materials is more efficient than trading them five to one and obviously in order to do that you need to get fusion mats to advance tone right which is why fusion mats are holding their price so well uh and in fact going up that plus they're tied to trade skill prices obviously which they fluctuate. Um, these are not the most expensive trade skill prices have been for West. I mean, they're definitely a bit higher than we've seen in recent times, but, I mean, that's neither here nor there. Uh, but the thing is, I think a lot of people, I mean, I know a lot of people are advanced honing their characters, the characters that they care about. I mean, obviously, people who have the means to advance tone all six of their characters, more power to you. But I think a lot of people are in the situation where they're just starting to touch the advanced toning system. And I think the best thing to do, well, I mean, I know the best thing to do, is advanced tone as much as you possibly can to use up your bound mats. Because again, you are going to be able to trade the materials 5 to 1, but it's more efficient to be able to use them than not. Because the ratio, even if it's going to be reduced mats in Tier 4, the ratio of conversion is never going to equal the ratio of non-conversion. Also, we're not even factoring in the fact that you can't convert shards, which are going to be a big problem for honing in general in Tier 4, for the beginning at least. Um, but that's kind of where the fusion mats have been at, and that's why they hold price. And uh, it's why I love them so much. I, I love them. I love them. They are my dearest friend. Yo, I'm selling them. Chill. Shh, don't look at that. I'm trying to make money, man. I'm trying to make money, man. I mean, I'm broke. I'm still waiting for my 2.5 million bus monthly payment to come in. Um, It's really rough. So I'm really hoping that 2.5 million gets mailed to my mailbox soon. Because, let me take a look here. I think in my mailbox, I don't have my monthly bus payment yet. Yeah, I just have fusion mats that I've sold. So, I mean, I'm still waiting for the 2.5 million to come in, but, I mean, we make do here, you know what I mean? 
Uh, do I see prices going back up for honing mats at all? Probably not. I think realistically they're only going to go down. They're going to hit a point where they bottom out. I mean, you've, you've seen this with soft resets before. The prices are going to bottom out on the materials. They're going to not go... They're not going to go to one. Excuse me. They're not going to go to one because obviously you can convert them five to one. Uh, I do think shards are probably going to end up being much, much, much cheaper than they are now. I mean, obviously, you, you've seen it with other shard pouches. Um, I Nobody buys the other shard pouches because, you one, you don't go. Like, you don't spend any time in Tier 1 or Tier 2 anymore. You play a new character. You're either knowledge transferring them or you're power passing them. Um, but even back in the day... The old shard pouches lost their value very, very quickly outside of like the first couple months of the game being alive. And I think it's going to be mostly the same for honor shards as well, <clears throat> just because. I'm just looking at the price of mediums and larges. Like, why are they basically the same? That's strange. Like, I mean, I, I, they're not, but they're much closer than I thought they would be. Bizarre. Uh, anyways. I think it's interesting to see when shard pouches will finally hit zero. I mean, they're not going to literally hit zero, but they're going to be worth much, 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 much less. Um, I need to sell my shard pouches. If you know a guy, I mean, maybe they can mail me like 2.5 million for my shard pouches every month. I'm down for that as well. Listen, I'm out here. I'm broke. I'm trying, man. I'm broke. Sidereal Energy is actually surprisingly cheap. I looked at them the other day and they were like just above 1 mil gold. Some Jeff Bezos out there stock up on like 500 Sidereal Energies waiting for tier 4. Then they're going to like quadruple their money, surely. Listen, that's the big brain strat, but I ain't got the money for that. If I get my monthly bus payment though, I'll be able to buy two of them, which is pretty good. Gotta start stocking up as soon as I can. Listen, man. That post makes me laugh. I love it so much. Everybody needs some humor in their life. Uh, 155, 159, 159, 159, 60. So basically 160 for a gem. And then 178? Brother, that's an 18k premium. That's kind of absurd. NGL. Why is it so small? I mean, obviously, I understand why it's small, but, like, damn, bro. Like, 18k premium between damage and cooldown? That's, like, nothing. So, how much is a level 9, then? I feel like there's money to be made in gems. I'm just too stupid to see it. So, let's assume they're 60... 60 times 3 is 180. So yeah, it's still like... It's still like the price of a level 10 Annihilation Gem. But like, you're not even making money if you hit a level 10 Damage Gem at this point. Weird. I don't know. I'm not going to claim to know. I don't know. Like I said, the economy is going to be very fucky until Tier 4 kind of solidifies itself in the Western version. Any hoosers... That's it for this week, man. I'll see you guys all later. Bye.